I'm with Anne-Marie Piper, a leading charity specialist at Farrow & Co, who are one of the firms sponsoring the event this afternoon. And I want to ask you, Anne-Marie, what are the key things that are concerning you or exciting you about the world for charities at the moment? Well, it's not a, lot of, not a lot of excitement going around at the moment. A lot of charities finding themselves in difficulties, forced mergers, um, sadly insolvencies too, as we read about in the press, um, cutbacks, redundancy programmes. Um, mm. Inevitably, lawyers only see the bad side of things. Um, but there's a lot of hard times out there at the moment, and there's no immediate sign that that's going to change. From the point of view of a lawyer, the Charities Act 2011 has come along. People are saying this is good news for charities. Is that the way that you see it as well? Um, having legislation consolidated is always a good idea, um, but there's an awful lot of paperwork that's generated as a result of it, and at the moment charities need to be spending less money with lawyers rather than more. They've got constitutional documents, they're now not sure whether the ref what the references are, um, and that we could have done without it at the moment. When the government representatives are here this afternoon, Anne-Marie, what would you like the floor to be asking them, the delegates to be asking them in terms of things they could do to make life easier for charities? Well, charities with funding uh, funding needs badly need the social investment market to get off the ground mm. and at the moment that's incredibly difficult. The legal structure is not really geared up for it um, and there are a lot of problems that I think that other lawyers in the legal community and I might like to see addressed.